Welcome to my how to set up my VPN connection for the students in the online interactive Master of Laws International Taxation and Financial Services program here hosted at Thomas Jefferson School of Law in sunny San Diego, California. This lecture is going to assist us together setting up your VPN pursuant to the instructions you've received from the IT department as well as what to do if you follow the instructions and you still cannot access the VPN that is the virtual private network of Thomas Jefferson School of Law. Well first what value does having access to the virtual private network give you? The law library access. The access to the law library research databases, the 60 plus databases such as the uh, Anti-Money Laundering Service, Butterworths uh, UK, BNA, CCH, IBFD, Complinet, Checkpoint, and so on, the multitude of many databases. The access to those databases is obtained through having your virtual private network on. So you've received from the IT department a memo that says uh, how to access the virtual private network. Starting at the beginning of that memo, how to create a VPN connection, you'll have to go to your start as I'm doing right now on my Windows. If you use Apple Macintosh, you'll have received a different set of instructions from the IT department. So I click on my Start menu, and it says Choose Control Panel. So I choose Control Panel, and just like the picture on the memo, my Control Panel opens up. Under Control Panel, it says, if you're presented with figure number one, as we are, click on Network and Internet Connections. So I look and I find Network and Internet Connections as my second icon and I click on it. At this point you should see figure three. In figure three on the next page it tells me to choose a connection to the network at my workplace. So here we see under the memo connect to the network at my workplace. I click connect to the network and here's where I choose virtual private network connection under my Windows program. So I click on virtual private network connection and I next screen company name. In my memo from the IT department, I'll need to, under the company name, as you see on the screen, type in TJSL and then add a space and then students. Doesn't matter whether you're faculty or students watching this memo, you want to type in TJSL, add a space, then students. So I will type in TJSL students and click next. I now need to know the host or IP address. For students you're going to type in or copy paste in the host IP address in your memo. So in this case I'll go ahead and type in the address on the memo and click Next. Now create this connection for my use only or anyone's use. If you have several users on your computer, you're going to want to have my use only. If your computer is only used by yourself, you're going to want to use anyone's use. So I'm going to click My Use Only, and I'm going to go ahead and click Next. That's it. It's set up. That bad finish. Now, 
what happens if after you've clicked finish and you want to connect to the VPN well how do I connect to the VPN I now have a box on my Windows start menu that says connect to TGSL students when I click on TGSL students I get this connect TGSL students username and password you've been sent your username and password by the uh, LLM administration office here at Thomas Jefferson or by the IT department and in this uh, in this uh, username you'll type in JLF followed by a backslash your backslash is located beneath your backspace key so JLF and then backslash now you type your username usually your first initial of your first name and your last name usually and your password will be whatever password you've been assigned by the IT department and you can change that once you're in the VPN you're gonna wanna click save this username and password on your computer so you don't have to re-enter it every single time you try and access your VPN now what happens if you've gone through all the instructions and it just doesn't work you need to write a memo to help at tgsl.edu you need to clearly enunciate what the problem is or they're going to be unable to respond so first you put who it's from, your name, full name, as you've registered as a student so they can find you in the student database. If they can't find you, they won't respond because they won't have an ability to respond since we use uh, Microsoft Outlook. And if your name doesn't come up in our email system, uh, there's no way to send you a message. You're going to put you're a student and in what program? In this case, the LLM International Tax and Financial Services. You can say International Tax or Financial Services. You can say your name and your faculty. What's the issue? In the subject line, VPN setup support. So as you see, I've clearly outlined my issues. I undertook steps one through five. I entered the correct web address. I've rechecked that. Now my office has a firewall. I write out what steps I've taken to correct the issue. My office is a firewall, but my IT department has already enabled the firewall to allow me access to the Thomas Jefferson VPN. I need to tell the IT department I use Norton's antivirus. I also use two pop-up blockers. One is the Norton's and one is Google. But I've turned both off and I've retried the instructions. That's a very common problem, using Norton's antivirus or pop-up blockers and it blocks your access to VPNs. Finally, I must put my contact telephone and what times I can be contacted, um, what time zone I'm in. So I can be contacted at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific, that's Los Angeles time. I should put my time zone in the nearest big city so that it can be easily found on a time zone map. Once I have established my VPN connection, I will then be able to go to my uh, my Thomas Jefferson School of website at students.tgsl.edu slash databases and be, enter, be able to enter into all the law library databases. Now that you've watched this YouTube video, you'll next want to move into the YouTube video. By example, how to access Checkpoint or how to access your 60 databases and so on. Thank you kindly.